Okay, our second to last competitor is Ryan Welch. Ryan is a doctoral student in the SEAS program in mechanical and aerospace engineering. Ryan's presentation is entitled Linking the Process, Structure and Performance of 3D Printed Thermoelectrical Materials. Ryan. We are currently in a technological revolution for aviation, driven by ambitious ideas to fly, let's say from here all the way to Australia in just a few hours. Now imagine a future where it will take you longer to get through airport security than it would be to fly halfway around the world. Well, this will only be possible if we can fly five to 10 times the speed of sound. Now flying faster than the speed of sound will generate a significant amount of heat in the aircraft due to friction between the aircraft skin and the surrounding air. So therefore, we need a way to one, control the temperature of critical components, the critical component here being uh, Tom Cruise and all of his fancy gadgets, or we can use that heat to generate electricity and supplement power systems on the aircraft. Thankfully, there's a specific type of energy materials known as thermoelectrics that do just that. They can use electricity to pump heat, so they act as a refrigerator, or they can use heat to generate electricity, much like a solar panel generates electricity from sunlight. So these thermoelectric materials are typically in thermoelectric devices, you know, shown here in between. They're sandwiched in between two flat plates, and the traditional manufacturing process limits that geometry. So you can imagine that this flat plate will not fit onto the curved surface of that aircraft there. So what my thesis focuses on is how we can 3D print those thermoelectric materials in order to obtain the complex geometries needed to integrate them into complex systems such as high-speed aircraft. Uh, so far, I've been able to 3D print a high-temperature thermoelectric material by fusing layers of powder together with a high-powered laser. So by layer by layer, we build up a component. I then take that 3D printed part and I characterize the material structure all the way down to the atomic level so we can understand how that process with the laser affected the material structure. Then that 3D printed part, we also characterize the thermoelectric properties. So we see how much power we can generate with it. And what we found is that even when we use this 3D printed technique, we're still able to generate electricity when we apply heat to one side of our part. And with this 3D printing technique, we can obta obtain these unique geometries to build more complex systems. So it is my hope that this technology of 3D printing for thermoelectrics will not only enable things like faster air travel, uh, but that we can use it to recover waste heat from multiple sources. So waste heat from steam pipes, waste heat from industrial processes, your body heat, Tom Cruise's body heat, we can all use it to generate electricity. Uh, so this is, in fact, a stepping stone to many more new technologies well into our future. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan.